And welcome back. It's 932. So parents choose to adopt, have so much love to give. And when they adopt children of a different race, that love requires education and extra responsibility. Cordy Freeman talked to an adoptive mother and a foster agency leader about why it's crucial to acknowledge racial differences and give kids the support they really need. Here's a clip from Courtney's story. One of the things I hate hearing is I'm colorblind. I don't see color. It's very important for culture to be acknowledged. True Light Ministry CEO Sandra Adjason has her own blended family and helps navigate other adoptive parents through that. We try to incorporate as much Hispanic culture as we can in our house. With our foster families, when they, especially when they're uh, adopting African American children, like we connect them to the local community who can, who not only will do their hair for them, that will come in and help teach them. We give them resources. And our Courtney Freeman enjoys us now for a debrief. Now, uh, Courtney, we understand this topic isn't widely discussed. No, I mean, Stephanie, it's not publicly discussed a lot. And that's because a lot of adoptive parents don't even think about this. They just, like you said in the intro, they just want to love a child. They're adopting because a lot of times they can't have their own. That's what we heard from our adoptive parents uh, that, that I spoke to for this story. But there's a lot of racial reckoning going on in our country right now. And I think that's why this conversation has kind of come to the forefront. I've seen it on some national news outlets, some podcasts, um, and that made me want to look into our local adoption agencies and talk to some local adoptive parents about what, you know, what they're doing to educate themselves. And is that something that they expected to be asking themselves and, and incorporating in their own lives? Often we hear people use the phrase, well, hey, I'm colorblind. Mm -hmm. But Sandra from True Light Ministries says she dislikes that. Why does she dislike the term uh, in the mindset uh, when it comes to adoptions? Yeah, we, I mean, you've heard this a lot during this time when a lot of people are learning um, about this subject. And when it comes to adoptions, Sandra has her own blended family. She says she wants people to know, she wants kids to know when they grow up that they are of a different race and that that's okay and it's beautiful and the color of their skin is important um, and different. So, I mean, I think she really just wants to send the message that being different is okay, being different is beautiful. You don't have to fit into a different race just because you're born into a different culture. Families can grow together and also acknowledge each other's cultures and families. I mean, this adoptive, you see right here, this adoptive mother that I spoke to, she was incredible and said, you know, she has an African-American daughter and she's white. Her family is white. She has no idea what to, she had no idea rather what to do with her daughter's hair. Uh, so she took a class. She asked Sandra to, you know, hook her up with some organizations that will take her in and her daughter. And now they say it is a full bonding experience. They have hair day every Sunday. And it's something that she didn't think of. She just couldn't have kids and wanted children so bad. And, you know, she's she's doing the work. She's putting in the work to understand her child and and preparing to answer tough questions when she gets older. And speaking of that, what resources are available now for parents adopting children of different races? There are so many resources. There are, uh, there's this organization that the mother I spoke to was um, referring to in our story. It's called ten, uh, Tutus and Tennis Shoes. And that, those are the organizations that helped her with her daughter's hair. But Sandra Adjacent at True Light is incredible. They do such important work. They have education classes. They can tell you all about adoption. These adoptive parents say the agency matters. As the mother I spoke to said, I can pick up the phone and call them anytime, and I believe it'll be the same way in 10 years. So on our website, on ksat.com, uh, you can look for this story. We have all the resources for True Light Ministries. They have education classes of all kinds for the parents, and it's a lot of them are not optional. If you're, if you're adopting from uh, their agency, you have to go through some classes, and if you are adopting of a different race, you do have a cultural requirement. And so I think that's one of the amazing things about this agency. It might be smaller than some of the others, but I mean, they're growing and they are still keeping up with the demand for parents who need those education classes. Well, we love the story, Court. Thank, Thank you so you. much for swinging by GMSA at nine. We know you had a busy weekend and uh, <laughs> good seeing you. Good seeing you. Thank you, Courtney. Thanks.